Welcome, folks. I'm King Snake. This is King Snake's Review Pit. Today we will be reviewing the band Ghost. Uh, second record, the um, Festus Human. Well, I liked it. I guess we'll go song to song. Because, I, I don't know, I don't like it as far, much as the first record, but the first record's pretty untouchable. It's like that first Slipknot record. I mean, Slipknot hasn't touched anything as good as the first one since. I don't think so, anyway. But, uh, what do we got here? Idol Latrine? It's okay. Lyrics are great. The song has some really cool moments. Uh, very poppy. That's okay for this band. People have a misconception that Ghost is a metal band. They're not. They're like a kind of remind me of a Mr. Bungle or um, something along those lines. Something Mike Patton would probably be into, definitely. Um, it's weird how they have that sound coming out of Sweden or wherever they're from. I mean, where does that, where's that shit come from? You know, what the hell are they doing over there? But, uh, the next song I have seen is a little heavier. It has some doom metal influence. This will be a great live song, but it doesn't stand out on the album. Um, it's a satisfying listen, though. Uh, Monstrance Clog. That's probably my favorite track. Slow, crooked, sexy, very catchy chorus. The, the usual lyrics about evil sex or whatnot. Uh, very catchy course. Um, very well put together. It's hard to compare this song to anything that I've heard before. It's, it's a fresh idea. Which is good. You know, we don't have a lot of fresh ideas going right now. Uh, we're like a diamond in a haystack full of emo, new metal, post-hardcore fucking crap. That's out now. They're beautifully different, and I'm actually excited to see what they do next. And interesting enough to actually buy the record to hold and look through. Sorry if I keep looking down. I have a fucking cat that's driving me nuts. But, uh. Anywho, let me stop sucking their unholy dicks. And, uh. Clint's whatever. They have, because they all wear masks, obviously. Next, we have uh, Year Zero, which has an awesome video, by the way. Uh, very cool. Best video I've seen in a long time. Um, the song is big chorus, powerful, easily my favorite vocals on the album. On the course of the song, uh, the verses are storytelling with music to match. Hail Saint, great song. Body and Blood like the verses but the chorus is super annoying and easily fucking worst song on the album I hate it it's just annoying but you blood that's fucking terrible um I can see a video for it I don't know why they would well I do I mean a bunch of Assholes would probably catch on. Ooh, this song's awesome. Like, uh, what was that Marilyn Manson song off Antichrist Superstar? Tourniquet off Antichrist Superstar Marilyn Manson. And it reminds me of that type of thing. I fucking hated that song too. Um, definitely worst song on that album. Uh -oh. Secular Hate. Uh, instant classic. All around great song, masterpiece. A lot of chorus, 
beautiful vocals, uh, kind of carnival sounding metal waltz thing. It's very cool though. Um, so what else? Third track. Um, Gula, Zombie Queen. It's a big favorite of the people. I like it. It has a. Uh, Conjures memories of maybe a Mr. Bungle song or something that Mike Patton would like again. Mellow beginning with the crispy, quiet vocals into like a fucking surf rock, golden guitar thing. It, awesome, though. I love it. Very original, I guess. Um, it's a breath of fresh air, definitely. Not the same old garbage. Force fed. They proved that they, they're a band that I've been waiting for a good band like this to show up for a while. Since, uh, I don't know, I like Slipknot when they first came out. That was a new, fresh thing, but since then, what has there been? System Down was okay at first. Um, I'm talking about big bands. Um, who else? No one? Um, And Festus Mon opens with an operatic style chant into a hard rock and melodic, melodic driving instrumental intro thing. It's okay. Segway into the Per Aspera, which is an old school metal sounding tune that, at least on the guitar front, is good. Mixed with some uh, original vocals and drums that kind of sound like a, a holy march or satanic jihad of sound. In all fairness to these critics out there, it's not a big standout track, but a good opener, nonetheless. All around, pretty good record, and uh, definitely worth picking up. And if you haven't heard the first record, I highly recommend that, uh, Opus Eponymous, which is one of the best metal records I've heard to date. So, gets King Snake's approval. Two thumbs in your butthole. See you next time.